It's an amazing opportunity to be able to live close to both parents, come back to the place I grew up, and get to share that with you, and then you know, hopefully a family. I'm Dana. And I'm Mike. And we're moving back to his hometown of Greenwich, Connecticut. So Greenwich is a big area. It has uh, diverse little boroughs that are throughout town. And depending if you want to be by the beach or you want to be in a downtown location, there's something for everyone. But for me, it's just home. Everyone's very friendly. It's a nice balance of you know businessmen and trade folk and you know restaurant owners. It's it's pretty amazing. Everyone's got a great story. Trade folk. Trade folk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> folk. <laughs> I loved growing up in town. I always had family close by, really good group of friends. I thought there was always something to do. Going to um, his family home, it was very similar to where I grew up, so I felt kind of at home right away. And it seemed just like a nice place to raise a family and yeah. like grow your roots. Yeah, and I wanted to share all the childhood memories and everything with my, you know, my family that we're building, and, or our family, excuse me. <laughs> So in Stanford, we have um, a little apartment and it overlooks the water, which is actually beautiful. I can't imagine like raising kids in an apartment, so we're getting to the point now where we're trying to think ahead. Our dog, Pizza, yes. after our favorite food, but we call him Pete for short. He's a little Yorkie Bichon mix. He's only a year and a half, so he's kind of growing and we want to find a place for him to be able to run around and enjoy the outside. I want like a cute little starter home where it's easy to maintain, uh, maybe two or three bedrooms. I wouldn't mind a smaller home, less to clean, and uh, maybe a smaller lawn, less to cut. So small enough to maintain, but big enough to party. Yeah, whoa, <laughs> yeah, big enough to party. <laughs> Because I'm a real estate agent in town, uh, I've picked out some houses that I think you're gonna like. Yeah, you better do a good job. This is the house. It's a uh, nice little cozy cape, like 900 square feet. It is cute. Yeah, it's nice, right? Yeah. Two bedrooms, one bath, small, but perfect for, you know, little pizza and us. It's a big backyard. Oh, how cute. Wow. I love the lights. Wow, the backyard's bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah, it doesn't have a front door, but it's a nice backyard. Yeah. yeah. This is cute. Right? Yeah. yeah. It is small, but at least it's really open. Yeah, it's nice and open. You have a dining space, built-in bench. Very you, very cozy. This, I thought, it would be your favorite part of the house. Yeah, a little breakfast nook. A little breakfast nook, bacon and cheese. I love cheeses. that. Kind of has like a cabiny feel. <laughs> it's cozy. Very cozy. <laughs> I like it. I was a little hesitant because I think from the outside it looks super small. Yeah. And like I don't really like that there's no front door because I always kind of imagine like a cute porch. Let's take a look upstairs. Yeah. I think you're gonna like it. Okay. Let's go. Definitely check out the bathroom. A decent size. Nice big shower. We don't take tubs. Yeah. Second bedroom, potential nursery. Oh, and this is a good size. Right? Yeah. Very nice. Closet might need a little work. <laughs> yeah, we need to get a door, but. And everything would fit in here. I mean, the only thing is, is you can't really have like a dresser, though. You can squeeze a dresser in somewhere. So yeah. this will be your closet, and then I'll put my stuff in the basement. Hmm. You might have to. My first reactions are. I like that everything inside is new and it's very much my style. I want it to be a little bit bigger, but I guess that's something that we can fix down the line. And the front door, I would really like a front door. <laughs> yeah, I really like but. the yard. I think the yard's great touch. It's hard to find a good yard, great location, good pizza place, close by. Yeah, and it's close to your parents, which is nice. Oh yeah, that too. It's good so. that my parents are close. Mm -hmm. I mean, moving from an apartment, I think I'd rather have a smaller house that's easier to maintain than to jump into like a, a, a bigger house where I have to clean it. <laughs> you don't want to clean is what you're saying? <laughs> I don't mind cleaning, but maybe taking baby steps, you know what I yeah. mean? So it's cute from the outside. Yeah, it's got a lot of charm. 
It's, uh, it's got the two bedrooms up. And, and what's down back there? So that's uh, the Byron River. Oh, wow. This is big. It's nice, right? Yeah. Good Kitchen's nice kitchen. and big. I love this. Big island. Yeah, it's perfect for entertaining. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, it's a big open kitchen. Yeah, I love the island. Yeah. I think uh, whenever we host, we like to lay out a ton of food. So like, you know, this is to perfect. be easy, right. Exactly. Did you see what that is? That's a no. cat treadmill. How do you know that? I, I don't, I just figured it out. <laughs> See the rest of it. This is nice. Yeah, this is cute. See, look at these rooms are bigger. Yeah. So is this? Well, is this the master? Yeah, this would be the master. Okay. They have the nice ceiling fan, which is always a plus. Yeah. And then you have the view of the river. Oh yeah. There's a water view from over here. Yeah. This is pretty. And oh wow! I didn't realize there was like access to the river right there. Streams going the other way, but if you hop in a canoe, we can get down to the bar. <laughs> I love the spiral staircase. Yeah, I might be a little big for him, but... <laughs> it's a little tight. <laughs> might have to switch this with a fireman's pole. Yeah. Wow, this is cool. Oh my god, you're gonna love this bar. This is great. I can make my mic teenies. Yeah. Yeah, they have plumbing here too, so if you ever want to add a, a bathroom... Oh, a wine fridge. Love that. It's kind of like nice house. because like eventually when there are kids and we can be upstairs, like adults upstairs and send the kids down here yeah. and do their thing. Or the opposite, because yeah, we the, can have the bar down here. That's true. <laughs> yeah, keep the kids upstairs, we get the bar. <laughs> Anything else you love, hon? <laughs>
Glenville Pizza is a place that is near and dear to my heart and my stomach. Growing up, it was always a place my mom and dad, we'd, we'd drop in there, grab a slice, grab a soda. It's another piece of home, and I think it's important that we have a house that's close by. Starving. Hi. How are you doing? How are you? What's going on? Um, can I have a slice of Sicilian, please? I'll do a Sicilian too, please. Cheers. Good house, honey. Mm. I gotta get the corner. I gotta remember. Mm. How you doing? How you been? Good to see you. How's everyone? This is my wife, Hi, Dana. How are you? We haven't been in a little while, but we're we're looking around town, so oh, hopefully we'll be in here a lot more. Yeah. Good seeing you. How's the pizza? It's good. Delicious. delicious. Best Sicilian in town. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So today we had quite a day. Yeah, it was busy today. But I think we saw a lot of good spots. Yeah, I you know? agree. And it's, I mean, we get to reward ourselves. A good excuse to get some food, mm -hmm. good pizza. And we have a decision to make, but I think it's, they're all good decisions. They're I know. Just try to figure out what makes the most sense for us. The Cozy Cape I loved. I love the layout, that it's open, and that everything's new, and that I wouldn't want to change anything. The hill worries me because it seems like a lot of the water would come downhill, and it'd mm -hmm. be a little more difficult, entertaining, and you know, worrying yeah. about taking the stairs to get you know family up there. I love the river. That was your favorite. <laughs> yeah. I just like the nice. charm of it, yeah. and that you walk in and it's updated, but then there are so many things that like kind of bring you back. I like it too. It's a little, you know, more expensive than uh, the Cozy Cape. But I think it also works. Personally, the the I loved uh, the entertainment house, but realistically, with this busy street, it's a great location. But maybe that would have been a house if we didn't plan on having a family, and you know, right. we just kind of wanted to stay the two of us. I'm between the cozy cape and the river house. Okay. I'm so torn between the two houses. I just think. I mean, my gut is. I don't know. So guess what guys, we finally picked a house. Well, we're finally in a house that we picked, which is... The Cozy Cave. <laughs> I didn't know what I was supposed to do, what you were supposed to do. Uh, Pete is really Enjoying enjoying himself. Yard. He's been running around like crazy, like a madman. He's got the whole place to himself. <laughs> He's very fired up. And he has plenty of friends on yeah, the street Yeah, there's now. tons of dogs on the street. It's incredible, they have a, their own little dog posse. <laughs> You know, I think Greenwich is, is truly home, so. We're surrounded by family and couldn't be more excited. Yeah, family's close by, so we have our potential built-in babysitter in the future about five minutes away. <laughs>